Okay, uh, we're going to change perspective, but we're not going to change topic. Um, everybody understands that when you have, you're trying to address a use case in a national environment, and that use case involves, for example, the sharing of images, as we've seen the, 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 the case with the French program, but we can uh, see similar situation um, all over Europe. There are IG profiles that have been designed, already implemented by other places around the world. And each of one of those deployments, they've added a few things here and there. <laughs> okay? Are they things that IG forgot? Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe there was no consensus. Maybe it was not clear whether those elements would be needed or not. Um, and uh, the ID that I'm going to uh, share with you this MCW, this multi-country work group, uh, came out of the experience day in Montreux. And it actually was triggered by Mathieu's presentation as to what the French group was doing. And a lot of people said, wow, that's kind of interesting. It looks like you've addressed some gaps into some IG profile. You've made some changes. Why did you make those changes? We would like to discuss that. And then the discussion started between two or three countries and extended to five or six. Uh, so that team was faced sometime in October, November and said, hmm, it looks like we're addressing a need. When Aichi does 90% of the work, the remaining 10% are still something we could do together. And doing it together would mean maybe improving the profile maybe discovering that a certain extension to the profile actually is outside of the scope of Aichi. It's actually very country specific, but there are many countries that have exactly the same need. So why don't we make something common there? Because then when you try to do cross-border and those gaps have been filled in a common way, guess what? <whistles> Things sell <are> through, <laughs> much less work. You have you've, been made consistent from the start. So those folks, this small team, basically said, mm, it looks like we could uh, uh, take a national focus and debate the debates we have within our countries on certain topic, on using certain IG profile, and agreeing that, yes, it is a gap, yes, it needs to be fixed by IG, or no, this needs not to be fixed by IG, but it could be debated with us to, so that we can make a recommendation. Uh, it would benefit. Why? Because bringing the right expertise that is distilled from more than one country always gets you a much better decision and more experience. And the goal of that MCWG would be to have analysis paper, recommendation on a very precise topic that is some kind of a gap and says, hey, we analyzed the gap. These are the alternatives we considered. And we didn't think this one was the best for this reason. This one the best for that reason. But this one seemed to be the better. But once we look at this one, it was even better. <laughs> so we share the analysis. And we give it back to whoever wants to use it so that you don't have to realize everything in your country. You read the analysis, you agree with it, or you disagree. And if you agree with it, take the thing, chunk of spec, move into your spec, you're done. That whoop, reduces the time to move forward and bring interoperability more consistently and more rapidly. So that ID matured, and the MCWG group became official uh, in December uh, 2022. So in a nutshell, what we're doing is this. You're in your country, you have a use case. You pull IG profile and you say, wow, that fit my use case. Oh, they fit very well. They've been designed to work together. Oh, but I have a few gaps. That's when I go to IGMCW, and I say, ah, this topic has been discussed. Ah, there is a recommendation. Let me pull the recommendation and fill my gaps 
with what's available. What I like, I don't have to, I can do something different if I feel it's not correct. But those countries adopted MCW recommendation would solve already a number of gaps. There may still be some national extension that are specific to the country uh, for whatever reason. So it doesn't mean that MCWG is going to exhaust the profile and give you a turnkey solution to what you do in your country. This would be a little bit of, a, um, of an illusion, and we don't want to be selling illusion, but practical uh, things. So that's a picture that corresponds to the discussion we had before. So the question is, how can we do this? So we started the discussion with folks from six countries. Uh, they look at their national authorities and all of the European came back and say, very interesting, we want to be in, but man, there are some stuff defined in Europe with guidelines and discussion and joint actions and that are all promise and in the making whose goal are not that clear. <laughs> their delivery time is not that clear. So we don't quite know how to engage yet. You guys are a little too soon. <laughs> Give us a few months to let those things settle, and then we'll see uh, how can we do both without duplicating work. Absolutely, fair comment. IG's intent was not to duplicate work. So what we did during six months is to invite existing projects that are typically either that have recently done a massive amount of work on this, and that was the case of the French project, or two projects, Veneto and Quebec, who actually deployed image sharing based on IG profile 10 years ago. So the question is, oh, you had it running for 10 years. That's interesting. Come and tell us, how does it work? What does not work? What are you going to do in the future? Do you have a plan to fix, to improve, to extend? Please share with us. So you see the concept here is to really, we're not in the SDO, we're not in the Gemini, Gemini space, okay? We are the step before you actually deploy. And we're trying to make deployment as quick, as efficient, and as effective. So having that context, and if you're interested to those uh, presentations, they've been recorded so that we can use it uh, as a resource. Early September, we brought, got the group back together, and we said, OK, what are the issues we can solve? How many are there? In 20 minutes of brainstorming, we found 13. <laughs> we then prioritized them and got uh, five of them as high priority and eight of them as medium or lower priority. But even the low priority remains an issue to be addressed. <laughs> okay? They are less urgent, but they will still need to be addressed. But we chose in MCW for this quarter to basically address the top five. And we say we have to prove to ourselves and to the world that we can actually have a quick and serious discussion, do a good analysis, come to a recommendation agreed by five, six, seven, eight countries, agreed officially, unofficially. We'll see along the way how it goes. <laughs> um, and bring this as a resource uh, for, to folks, for folks to deploy. And if along the way additional countries want to join, fine. Uh, the more, the merrier as well to adopt than to bring uh, uh, experience um, in deployment. And you see that the uh, issues are of various nature. Uh, I don't want to necessarily go through those. You'll have those slides and see if some of those resonate uh, with your environment. We had a second meeting last week and we took those five issues and reorganized them. And we now have three issues to address with a timeline, a team in place. And out of the MCW membership, we take, it, we take a team of two or three people that are voluntary to do the work quickly. Okay, the first one, we want an intermediate report next week, and we want to finalize the agreement, the analysis, middle of next month. Are we going to do it? Probably not. But let's make sure we get as close as possible within a few days. 
The second topic is going to be analyzed as well, and is going to come with a two weeks delay. And the third one, with a two weeks delay. Having done those three, we can sit back and say, was it useful? Was it efficient? We probably will have recruited five other countries that have that found this interesting because they are struggling with the same issues, and we'll see where it goes. So in a sense, we need to think at collaborative efforts, both on the front end, as we've heard, as well as on the back end, and this is what MCWG uh, is uh, doing. Here is the current membership. I'm forgetting a few people, but uh, those have been the more, I would say, actively uh, engaged from uh, five or six uh, countries. Some countries are very uh, represented by multiple people, others uh, by a single uh, person. So new concept, new way to collaborate. If you like it, join it. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't like it, ignore it. This is fine. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charles.